What's up guys, J Flesh Tanks. As you can see I've used about a quarter of the manzanita driftwood in the 28 gallon. Obviously it's rescaped, I got the wood so I had to rescape the tank. I've tied uh, numerous different things down to it. I've tied willow moss, I've tied java moss, and I've tied rickia down to it. I used fishing line on everything. With Ricky, you have to use fishing line, guys. It's not considered a moss. It's considered a floating plant. So if you use thread, you, it's going to stay as long as the thread stays. As this, you know, as the thread breaks down in the water, that Ricky is going to come loose. It'll never attach itself. So you have to use fishing line on on Ricky, guys. With moss, you know, a lot of people use thread because it does biodegrade. You know, it breaks down over time, and by the time that thread breaks down, all that moss has attached itself to the wood. I, I still prefer to use fishing line. I just feel like it's easier to work with. Uh, I tie everything down, moss, rickia, whatever I'm tying down. Even if I'm tying java fern down, I tie it tight. Um, that's just my, once again, if you tie it loose, in my opinion, and what I've experienced tying stuff down loose is you never get that real nice form shape as you can see you can tell that that moss is tied down to something it's tied down to wood and you can kind of see it as it's shaped if you tie it loose and what i've seen with tying stuff loose like especially to driftwood moss wise as as it grows it doesn't stay like real nice and formed if you tie it down really tight uh, it's always going to stay real nice and formed to that piece of wood or that rock or whatever you tie it to. And as it grows, it's going to bush out and you can trim it back. And it's always going to have that real nice form to the piece of wood. So I tie everything down as tight as I can get it using fishing line. So that's kind of a quick tip on, uh, you know, tying stuff to wood and how I do it. As you can see, the 28 gallon looks different. It's got a few tweaks left, um, aquascape wise, plant wise. Um, I used uh, lace rock for all the hardscape, rockscape wise, and then obviously the manzanita wood. It's got star grass, it's got Amani agarlysis in the back left. In the back right corner, there is Rotala indica and uh, a uh, red winty crypt. That stuff's going to be coming out. The, the crypt and the indica's coming out. I got some new plants coming in hopefully Thursday that's when they're supposed to be here uh, four different varieties of plants that I've never used obviously I'm not gonna put all four in this but there's a couple plants that I'm really excited to use that I cannot get locally I've been trying and nobody can order it in for me so I got that stuff coming in the mail so there's gonna be a couple tweaks here and there to the uh, to the scape lighting wise on this tank right now I just have a uh, one T5 NO strip normal output uh, you can grow plants, guys, with T5 normal outputs. I believe a 30-inch T5NO is like 36 watts. I, I think they're 18 watts or 4. It's 28 or it's 36 watts, one of the two. You know, my stuff that's in the tank, even the stargrass is growing. Stargrass isn't growing as compact. And you can tell on the indica on the right side, uh, see at the tops, it's green growth. Below it's all nice and pink because this stuff came out of a highlight tank and all the new growth is nice is you know it's nice growth but it's green um, and that's just that's straight lighting I'm still dosing this th this tank gets dosed with the exact same products as the 40 long does and the Rotol this Rotol came out of that tank and that's that's just has to do strictly with with light lighting excuse me um, so you can grow plants with T5 NOs I just don't like how they're growing. I, I mean, I want the indica to be pink. So Wednesday, if I'm reading the tracking stuff properly, I should have a new light here, T5HO 96 water. So I'm going to be bumping the light up quite a bit. The star grass under this lighting, guys, it's growing up towards the light instead of staying real like compact. Like the 20 long, even though it's real tall in the 20 long, it's like really super compact. It throws out side shoots and it, it'll actually kind of lay down in that tank. So, and here it's just wanting to grow up under this lighting, which is cool. You know, you can, I mean, the star grass in the 20 long is like four inches tall, but it's compact. If I let it get this tall in here, uh, more than likely it's going to Christmas tree at the bottom and all the stuff at the bottom is going to melt. So, I uh, have to get a better light. Amania, for one reason or another, has not. Um, grown any new green growth it's still growing red growth and that's probably due to me dosing the tank with iron and the indica being a faster growing plant than that ammonia um, 
that that's what I'm assuming is the indica is a faster growing plant so it's not having enough time to actually absorb some of that iron as the amani is a slower growing plant and what I've seen and it's maybe having a little bit more time to absorb that iron that I'm putting in the tank so other than that guys running long J flesh tanks mr. mom tanks fired up fish tanks dot need dot com that's how I tie stuff to manzanita wood and uh, next video is a reef tank video because I got a bunch of new corals kind of went buck wild at reef stock so we'll see you then Later.